hi everyone so i'm back to do another let's make with you um i am making a fern and mushroom journal at the moment and i'm just going to make some little journal cards using um some of the journal cards from the kit which is a kit from arty maze so i'm using these four here i've got some card and i've cut them to the sizes that i want them to be um which i think is eight and a half by 14 then i've got one of the background pages from arty maze from that kit and i'm going to be covering them um so i've just cut that into four and i'm going to glue that on there i will stitch around them um when i'm done and i've got some vintage music paper that i'll be adding as well i've got some words here they're a freebie from arty maze then there is these little sayings here little quotes I'll, again they're freebies from arty maze and i've got these labels that i may or may not use and i'm going to be using this because i'm going to put tabs on them with some um coffee dyed paper i'll use to do that let me find so i'll find a strip of that out of my scrappy box so let's get started so i'm going to be using a um, glue stick this one is by Dill crafts and i think i got that from the range here in the uk so let me just move them out of the way i'm going to need a baby wipe as well because it's going to get messy <laughs> right i hope everybody's having a good weekend um it's thumping down with rain here it's um <clears throat> it's about five o'clock it's dark it's horrible we have to have snow tomorrow um i think it's actually going to start later on tonight not sure if it's going to settle because it's been you know like i said thumping down with rain um <clears throat> so yeah just covering this with the glue stick and like i said i am going you can use any glue you like um i am going to be stitching around the edge so um if i don't get everywhere i'm not too fussed um <clears throat> just give that a little wipe so i'm just gonna plop that on there try and get it pretty even so the pattern is you know i've lost my little there you go, but now what have I done with that? There it is, it's hiding under the baby wipe. Um, just my little old Costco card just to squish this down. Okay, so I'll just set that to one side. I'll just do all these first. Um, I was planning on doing this much earlier today, but um, my knee's really sore and I've had to go and rest it quite a few times and the ice and elevation and... Um, <clears throat> thought it would have calmed down oh look at that great big icky bit off the glue um let me get that up i think i'm too heavy-handed with it that's why it's doing that so oh goodness my fingers don't want to work yeah so i wanted to do this earlier but having to rest and stuff i've got to obviously take care of this back and this knee otherwise i'm going to end up in serious with serious issues um it is driving me bonkers, so it is. Um, <clears throat> I got my grandson over today as well. He's just in there with like, his dad because his dad stays at home here still. And they're just watching um, movies on the TV. And we'll have dinner and we'll see what mischief we can get up to tonight. Um, <clears throat> ugh. I don't like having sticky fingers but i'm actually going to put it on there let's see if that works better rather than getting it all over the mat the glass mat so i really am going to try and do some more just little you know videos just click the video the the phone on start recording just little bits of crafting while i'm doing it because i do do a lot of it I mean, nothing is um, new. It's all, you know, it's all things I've done before or has been inspired by other people. Um, so not everybody sees everybody else's videos. So if there's anything specific that I'm doing, you know, because I have been like completely inspired by somebody or something I've just watched, I will always say as well. Um, oops, we'll do it that way again. There is so much inspiration out there. It is good to watch. I do watch a lot 
of videos i don't always comment because you know there's whilst i'm crafting it's just you know one video after the other because i put them on like a little um like um you know watch later sort of thing and then i just watch loads of them all at once um i do need to start remembering and commenting i'm more likely to comment on a video when i am like you know indoors and not crafting so right that's that i will probably um when i do sew these i will probably without a doubt put some coffee dyed paper on the back so that they're not completely white um so i just put that one on my heater to dry really quickly so i'm going to try and do these four hopefully then it's not a really long video but not everything is, you know, can be quick to show you. So I just want to do a few of these on a screen. Um, if you don't already know, I have a playlist called Let's Make. Um, if you want to go over and take a peek at that. Now that is will be linked below. Um, where's my... There it is. Sorry about that. My ink pad. I need my ink pad. Yeah, my let's uh, my let's make the let's make yeah is uh, in a playlist below. I've got a few playlists on there if you want to check them out. But that one is where I kind of show relatively quick and easy things for you to do. And of course, you can then go ahead and do your own interpretation of that. You know, you don't have to do it exactly. Um, because everybody's mind works differently. You see one thing, and you know, I do that a lot. I, I watch a video and I think, oh, I'm going to try that. And with the concept of doing what I've seen, it always turns out completely different for some unknown reason. Um, <clears throat> right, what's the music paper? I'm just going to use my. Uh, I don't want about that much. So I'll do about four strips of them. Obviously, I'm going to be doing four tags or journal cards or whatever, toppers. They could be toppers. They don't necessarily have to be journal cards. You can make them a little bit bigger and pop them on the front of your journals like I do. That's what I do a lot. I use the toppers. All right, so I want that. Just give that a little tear there. I do keep these little bits there handy for when you're making your little clusters. Um, got my little tub with all the little bits in. Got tubs everywhere. Tubs and clear envelopes. You know the plastic envelopes. Oh, I've actually got hundreds of them. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's fine to me. Like I said, I'm not sure whether I'm going to use these labels. I may or I may not. I might. I might. And let me see. Where did that little word just pop off to? Obviously, I'll straighten this up, but I'm just seeing if that's how I want to do the, the layout of it, which I think I do. So we'll go ahead. I'm not using the glue stick for this part. I'm um, just going to use my tacky glue, which is, um, you can get that in the range, Hobbycraft, you can get it online, eBay, um, Amazon, and no doubt you can get it in the US or whatever country you're in. If you can look for it, it's called um, Anita's Tacky PVA Glue. Okay, right. Want that bit up there. And pop that there. If you watched yesterday's um, video flip through of the journal that I made, I showed you the paper I was using. The photo paper for the inkjet as so i've still not got my laser sorted um and it's actually a nice good quality paper i think hope the lighting's good i got my ring light on but i've put it far away so that you don't see the reflection of the ring on the um glass mat <clears throat> okay so just go around that 
And do I want that on there or not? Let me see. Oh my god, I just had to move that. Um, no, I don't think I do actually. I think I'm going to leave that. I might just put that there. So they're all roughly going to be the same. Um, so we'll just put that there. Like I said, these, this is a freebie from Artie Maze. You can find that on her um, Facebook group, Artie Maze and Friends. And this spring, what they called spring words, I think. Right, so I'm going to kind of have that on a little bit on there and a little bit all on the um, music paper as well. I'm going to punch my tab. I'd like the other, you know, the punch that's it's more like the squarish type tab. I'd like to get hold of one of them. I don't really know what they're called um, so that I can do that. I know I can make them from the uh, envelope punch board, but I'd rather just have the actual punch. I mean, if you're having that as, say, a side, I might actually put some, I might do two with it at the side and two at the top. That's what I'm going to do. Um, you could always punch a hole, put an eyelet in the sides of these and then have a little dangle coming off. So, like I said, I'm doing the uh, Fern and Mushroom journal and it's uh, it's not a big full-sized one. I'll quickly show you. That's the three signatures that I have. Um, so it's going to be like one of them six and a half by five or four and a half size and I've got the um the the cover fabric hard cover drying at the moment okay and I did say I was going to put paper on that and I forgot so I'll just ink up around the edges of that one okay so that's one where's my other one okay so <clears throat> got too much stuff in the way now Need a little bit of glue in there, I think. I'm just trimming off these excess bits. Okay, just going to ink up around the edges. because I put it on the heater the glue kind of dries it quite stiff all right so some more music paper just tear a bit I'm going to do some that side some that aside the other ones I done the other side so that's going to go there it's going to ink it up and just make sure that's the side there I want that to be kind of straight <clears throat> and we'll use this one here Just make sure you've got enough around the edges and we'll put that there give it a little press down it's a little bit skew whiffy if skew whiffy is actually a word <laughs> uh, oops i made a little bit of a funny noise there <clears throat> this one says courageous And maybe I, sh I will put a label. No, no, too much. Yeah, this one I think I'm going to put a label on that one. Just 
just like so and what I will do is um, go around these with a straight stitch is that what you call it just a straight stitch I won't do the zigzag or anything um, I need to get myself some more black cotton I've run out so I need to get a big reel of that because I buy the big ones um, and I pop it in a cup and then it gets fed through a paper clip onto what you would put the, the cotton bobbin thing onto and um, and then just feed it through. I don't buy the, the little ones. I did used to buy the little ones and then I'd seen a little tip from someone saying just buy the big ones because it's worth it to buy the big ones. Uh, I'm going to put that one up the top there. And you can see a little bit oozed out there. So that's that one done. Okay. Third one. Hope I'm not boring you. Yeah, if anyone wants to see how I rig up my sewing machine with the big massive, like, you know, well, they're not massive massive i think the cotton is actually for an overlocker so that's the kind of size that i buy you know the big ones um so if you want to see how i've set all that up and how i feed it all through just let me know because i've been doing that for a couple of years now um although i still do use the smaller ones if i want to use another color you know like a one-off or if i'm doing anything um that is actually proper sewing as in like sewing clothes <laughs> which actually doesn't happen that often um i've got an iron that irons paper if i need to and i never really iron any clothes I've got a sewing machine that never really does any clothes it's just paper um if i need anything so i ask my husband to do it <laughs> i say here you go can you sew this for me um he's pretty good at it because he's in the army and you know he learned all these survival skills and obviously needed to know how to sew um so he, he, and he doesn't mind he doesn't mind ironing either he, like you said it's very therapeutic i'm like yep fill your boots <laughs> you can do all the ironing it doesn't like cooking though when it's his turn to cook we get a takeaway <laughs> um which you don't mind i'm gonna take away in um a couple of weeks actually I've been trying to eat a little bit more healthier, um, not necessarily a diet because I know I would, I know personally I would fail um, if I was totally, you know, restricted to certain foods and stuff like that. Um, but I'm making health, healthier choices. That's what I would say, making healthier choices um, in my diet, um, especially in, like my breakfast and cutting back on like chocolate and crisps are still my savory food is my downfall when it comes to to food um just i love savory things i'm not a big you know i haven't got a sweet tooth not really um even when i bake and things everybody else eats like a majority of it and i'll just have like one little bit just enough to try it and say oh yeah that was nice <laughs> my efforts were worth it um so yeah the and it's not, do you know what, it's not actually that bad. You know, I'm making these li just little changes in my diet. Um, it's only been like a week or two, to be honest. And I haven't weighed myself, which I should have done in the beginning, just to see. Because I would like to lose quite a few pounds. Um, actually, I would like to lose about two stone, to be exact. Um this is the heaviest I've been, but I think that's just lockdown is, you know, a lot to blame for that as well. And everybody started cooking and getting really excited because, we, you know, we were like stay at home the first time around. Um, let me see. Let me see what I'm going to do with this one. I think that red's just a bit too red. Oh, although I do like that. Um, and maybe, one, oh, I do like that actually. See, wasn't thinking of doing something like that, but there you go. I mean, I'm just doing this totally. I knew I wanted to make this kind of journal card, but not, you know, didn't really have anything planned. Just grabbed a few things and thought, see how we go. There we go. 
Um, this says growth. I think that's what it says. Yep, growth. And like I said, these are Artie Mays. In fact, all of it's Artie Mays, really, apart from the um, the music paper. Okay. And let me see. Bloom. Let's use the word bloom. And a little bit of glue. Uh, I doubt very much if I will finish this journal today because I really just can't do a lot. I can't sit too long. I'm standing at the moment. Um, yeah, I can't sit too long. Can't stand. So I'm um, just doing little bits when I can because I really don't want to exaggerate. You know, exaggerate. Exaggerate is that the right word? No, exaggerate. Yeah, exaggerate it or or uh, aggravate it. That's the word I'm looking for. I don't want to aggravate it, not exaggerate it. Um, yeah, I don't want to make it any worse than it is because it has been awful this last, well, four, four or five weeks now. Um, crazy. Especially when you don't really know what you've done. Thank you. I think I will do one on this side. Let's see. Oops, a little bit too low. Here we go. Actually, I'm just going to check. Uh, yeah, it would definitely set, set nicely. And I was hoping that wasn't going to be too big. Um, so, right, one more. And then I will leave you alone to enjoy your Saturday evening. <laughs> um, um, when I come back in here tomorrow, I will... I think I'll make some little tags, just like some collaged tags to go with this. Um, okay. Right. Last little bit of music paper. Oops, I need to ink that up. And I'm quite tempted, next journal to do a bohemian style one um i haven't i've only ever, i think i've only done about two or three of them ever um i love watching everybody else's but it is one of them themes that i do struggle to i do really struggle to um to do i don't know what end to put that that way Okay, is it that way or that way? Yeah, so I was going to do... It. No, it's the other way. Hey ho, right. It's going to be that way. Uh, yeah, the behemoth, I do struggle with that. And the ones I have done, I have been quite pleased with them. Um, you know, I know obviously that they're probably not as good as most people's, but um, it's just the colour that frightens me with them. They're just so you know flamboyant in color um and you know the fact that you can mix your reds and your blues and your greens and your yellows and your oranges and your purples and it's like whoa it's a lot of color to me it really is okay how was i doing that that away it was that away wasn't it yeah oh well it's going that way now okay right this one hasn't got a lot well it has got a lot on it but it's not you know it hasn't got all the mushrooms and things on there um so what I do have, what I did have somewhere, like all the other little cutouts. So let me see. I've got a little mushroomy thing there. I think it might be too big to be honest. <clears throat> yeah, it's too big for my liking. Okay, we'll just pop this on. I don't know how long I've been going on this video now. loop of that came out there we go right there and let me see what else no that's too big i'm sure there's other bits to this kit that i probably haven't printed out yet but um no, I'll just leave it with... I might put another one of these on. I'm not sure. Um, 
Yes, I think I'll do that. And then this one says ominous. Okay, so I'm just going to ink up around there. Let's do that one first. Just pop the little label there. The labels come with the kit, but if you are looking for labels, Artie Mays does have freebie labels um, on her website and in her group. And you get them in, I think it's green, red and brown. You get a full sheet of each colour. And they're handy to have in your stash. Because we all like a label. Don't we? <laughs> okay, so I'll just put that there. And then I'm just going to punch my tab. This is a stamping up tab punch and I'll just drop that on the floor and I'm not going to be able to bend down and pick that up so because of my back and my leg so <laughs> I'll have to just do another one um yeah this is stamping up is it the whale tail punch um just a tab punch basically and it's retired um and I know they do it with the one that you know you hold it and you squeeze it as well um they've done that one it's a shame because this is such a pop this was such a popular um punch and they, you know they don't do it anymore um not sure why but they just don't but i know sometimes you can be lucky and find a lot of different retired tabs um, punchy sorry um on ebay or maybe even etsy who knows um i only use i don't really use etsy that much these days just for digitals i everything else is amazon and um eBay. Okay, so that's my little. I will. I will do the the sewing and everything off screen. I mean, can you see them all? You can. Yeah, I'll do all them off screen. Um, and I'll post a picture of these on the groups if you want to see it. And there we go. I'll just clean all my mess out of the way. So yeah. So again, quick and easy things to make. Like I said, I don't really know how long this took for thing. 20 minutes ish ish um so yeah any questions just ask and thank you so much for watching bye